here is my leopard in its environment. I really enjoyed uh, finishing this piece off. In fact, it's not quite finished. It was kind of very therapeutic, I must say. And I spent quite a bit longer on it than the children may. Um, this is also an adult piece. So I've obviously had a lot more experience than they have. So I've done this to inspire teachers um, and as opposed to actually expect learners to do uh, to have a similar skill they're obviously not going to but I just want to talk a little bit about how I went about this um, I tried to keep the textures quite free and I'm hopefully going to ask them to take pictures of kind of close-ups so you can see more or less what I mean I imagine on the video it might look quite smooth whereas in fact it's there's quite a lot going on and I want to just mention a couple of things in terms of integration. The first thing I did is I put it on a backing. So I happen to have this piece of card. You don't have to go and buy something special. And this card speaks to the brown within the picture. And I felt that it kind of brought it together. I had these repeated patterns around the mandala, which also brings it together. And then I repeated this leaf design in the corners, which again, brought it together. So repeated patterns and repeated shapes actually integrate a work. They make it whole. I could have chosen these uh, markings and done this on the outside as well. It wouldn't have been better or worse. It would have just been different. So just to kind of show you a few things that I've done here, I took a, a kind of a, a rough hatching um, technique for the outside and in fact I used purple without so just notice something the complementary colors of purple and yellow uh, those are two opposite colors they kind of pop and the complementary colors of blues and oranges all over the place kind of pop so I've made use of purples and yellows, blues and oranges to make it quite exciting. And then of course, you've got this middle color green, which comes into it as well. So repetition is has been used atten intentionally. Complementary colors have been used intentionally. And of course, here you've got a lot of related colors, the oranges and the yellows and the browns. Um, the purples and the blues are also related. So I brought in a lot of different kinds of color combinations. One other sort of important thing when bringing an artwork together is to work on contrast. So there are two different kinds of contrast. On the one hand, you can have in this particular work, there are many kinds actually, but on the one hand, one can increase contrast by increasing the darks. So in this case, the blacks. And leaving or increasing the lights so I could work further into the darks here by increasing my black and especially in the eye area very important and the nose so what's ending up happening is there's a focal point here and the focal point in my artwork the focal point is where the eye rests so if you look at this particular artwork the eye is coming immediately to these eyes and possibly the nose so I've created a focal point here by highlighting these, by increasing the contrast of the lights and the darks. And in fact, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take, it's a little bit of cheating, but I'm going to take a tiny bit of white paint. This is very useful in uh, portraits as well. And just put a little highlight in the eye of the leopard. And as you can see, that immediately kind of makes it come to life, doesn't it? And I would then also increase contrast in certain areas. Okay, I don't want to make my leopard too fluffy. I don't think they're that fluffy. But anyway, okay, so you can see what's happening. It's kind of coming to life. And I could work a little bit further into this. I mean... You know, when is an artwork ever really finished? It just comes to several stages of completion. So now I'm increasing the purple. But the one thing that I do want to do, and I've started it, I don't think you can see that easily on the, on the video, is I've started to bring in a sense of yellow, warmth around the outside. 
and i've even included a little bit of kind of hatching technique to integrate it into the purple area and this to me is i don't know it just creates a little bit of warmth and a little bit of unpredictable atmosphere if i can put it that way kind of almost i don't know it makes it a little bit mystical i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very well but um hopefully you will be able to in the photographs so i hope that kind of gives you an idea of how i'm keeping it pretty loose i actually want to see these strokes of the of the yellow and i'm bringing in this kind of warmth coming in from the outside just to give it a little bit of a unpredictable look. Okay, so I'm going to finish that on my own, but I just wanted to share that with you. I've loved this journey. I hope that you've all learned a lot. I hope that you've learned a lot and can share a lot with the learners. There is so much more to share and so much more to tell. But um, I'll have to leave that for the next video. So hope to see you in the next series of videos. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye for now.